Hi people, welcome to the new video. So you know, uh, there were three days uh, holiday, you can say, and it is the last day today. So <laughs> again, the work new week will start. Again, that stress. Of course, these three day three days were very relaxing. And uh, yesterday night we were like, uh, we have to do something. We watched one horror movie with all of our friends, Death Whisper. So uh, yeah, it was fine movie, fine. But yeah, with friends it's like comedy. So you can watch it if you want. And uh, yeah, three days passed. We uh, didn't even came to know, but. Um, are much needed you know uh, these uh, small small breaks uh, are much needed and people who have gone to home and everything so good for them because uh, you know these are the things these are the uh, time when we can celebrate and spend some time with family and they give us energy to again work and you know again <laughs> put ourselves into that rigorous race or you can say rat race so yeah we were discussing about you know how can we explain any project in our interview so yesterday we have discussed the step one like provisioning the infrastructure today uh, the second step where we have to fetch the code uh, from the sm tool so what all branching strategy will follow and how we'll explain the deployment and everything and whatever questions are possible that also have covered in this video so yeah i think uh, it will be helpful so let's go yeah, folks today uh, we will discuss the step two when you are going to explain your project in any interview then first step was provisioning the infrastructure using iac tool or you can do it manually too second step is you know setting up the uh, scm tool you know and uh, fetching the code source code from the scm tool so you know, all source code and everything will be placed in a scm tool which will be which you are using in your organization and then from there you have to you know you there will be a branching strategy so according to the branching strategy you have to create the pipelines and everything so uh, let's go so step two is uh, fetching the scm code where uh, i'm just uh, explaining it suppose this is our uh, you know repo url so what the first part indicates what scm tool we are using in this case we are using github then this is the organization name and then this is the repo url so that i have given the integration i have given then we will create the team accordingly uh, in team like accordingly we have to create the team and according to their roles we have to give them the necessary access on that repository so uh, in interview what they can ask like what is the branching strategy that you are following in your organization so where we have large teams and you know uh, many people are collaborating we mostly follow this uh, strategy where we have master develop feature release and hotfix branch okay we can also follow the other branching strategy where we have main or master branch then we have environment branches according to the staging production we will have the environment branch then the feature branches and issue driven branching okay so these two basically are followed so in master branch this is our main branch so in one repository there will there are branches like there will be one main branch will be which will always contain the production code uh, and then we will have the develop branch which is again a development branch and where new features are integrated after being released we after before being released then the feature branch is created from the develop branch only where uh, you know developers work on specific feature and once completed they are merged into develop then uh, release branch are also created from the development branch only and when the code is ready for release these branches are allowed for final testing and bug fixing before merging into master
then hot freeze branch is something which uh, are which are uh, which ha like which are which in which we have to work on you know critical issue there is a bug which have to be fixed and uh, which need to be addressed quickly then we create this directly from the master branch and then and they when they are applied the fixes are applied they both are you know merged into master and the develop so basically uh, these this is a branching strategy one of the branching strategy second uh, strategy is like where we are using the environment branches so we are creating the branches according to the staging then qa then production environment and then uh, accordingly we have a feature branch then we can feature branches created from each new task or feature and they are then they are merged issue driven branches uh, that specific uh, issue and which need to be addressed quickly Th then this branching strategy is done so basically uh, then if you are creating this kind of branching strategy then how are you creating your pipeline like what how will you create your pipeline how will you handle deployment in different environments so basically you can say that you are keeping one uh, you know pipeline script for one uh, repository where in that re where in that pipeline script you are using the parameterized okay and we will discuss the parameterized flow in my next video when we are going to the next step of uh, you know creating the pipeline script so in that parameterized pipeline i'll just give you a gist that in that parameterized pipeline we have to give one block of parameters where we are giving you know according to our branches either we are giving if we are following this feature and according to the branches we are giving the parameters or according to the environment we can give the parameters and then when we move to our uh, stages there we can put a check using when when directive we can use that if the parameter uh, is equal to the develop branch or parameter is equal to the main branch then we have to perform this step else we have to perform the other step in this way we will create a pipeline script so you can tell that in this way you are uh, you know handling in uh, handling deployment in different environments then they will be uh, you know uh, they will try to uh, understand that how are you doing deployments in production environment so you have to tell that you are not directly deploying it so that there is a difference between continuous deployment and continuous integration so in deployment is where you know no break is there in flow you know you are uh, triggering the pipeline and it uh, ends when the deployment is done but when there is a break in little flow where in production we because before deployment we need approval so you will tell them ki before deploying in uh, you know uh, the production environment you have to take you have to add a approval step where you will proceed further only after getting the approval once you get the approval then you will proceed with the deployment so that thing you are following in your organization in production you are not going for direct deployment okay we can add the step of uh, you know sending mail getting the approval and then we can start going for deployment and production so that you have to tell and then they'll ask that how is this pipeline script is it you know triggering automatically or is it you know uh, how is it triggering or you are doing it manually so you can tell that it is triggering automatically and you know uh, how is it done like when you done when you will uh, push any code there is a github uh, you know a github a webhook uh, you know, github webhook that you have integrated it will trigger a pipeline accordingly whatever branch from where the code is pushed uh, there from there you know accordingly it will uh, the pipeline script will uh, sense it and accordingly it will do the deployment and do everything so how you you can configure the github webhook that you have to tell it in settings you have to give the webhook url where you have to mention like this the the content type application json so this forward slash is very important in the content context url 
without this if you are not putting forward slash then it will give uh, the error okay so uh, basically their concern will be these uh, as i've told you the questions that they can ask that how are the uh, you know how are you what is what is this the what is the branching strategy how are you handling deployment in different environments and then you know how are these pipelines getting triggered from github uh you know uh, how are, is it manually or is it you know uh, automatically so like this you can explain so i hope it's helpful so guys that's all for today's video and you know let me know if you have any views or if you find that there can be some corrections in it please tell me know in the comment section till then stay healthy take care bye